What's up everyone, here is Akta, welcome back for another video on Infinite Magic Red, it's gonna be a special one, maybe you saw it in the title, but here I'm gonna compare Visley Exclusive 3 with Nicolas Exclusive 3, and you are gonna see that, just stay at, until the end of the video because you are not prepared, I have a better score with my Visley uh, than with my Nicolas Exclusive 3, but my teams are optimized, so you are gonna see that, for the uh, sake of the video, I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna waste a lot of gems, 400 to dismantle this aura on, from my Nicolas to put it on my Visley, and then I'm gonna dismantle it again to put it back on my Nicolas. So, um, now my Visley is exclusive 3, she has a good speed, I changed the speed on my heroes, I'm gonna talk about that later, I'm gonna show you the stats on my heroes. So now my uh, Visley can provide a 50% crit rate buff to my Lukia. Uh, she gives it to the highest attacker in your team. And so why Visley is so great for this kind of content? She can lower the resistance of the boss by 50%, same thing as Nicolas does, uh, but on every hit, so it's better. Also, she can lower the attack of the boss by 40%, which helps a lot. This is huge. A huge benefit to survive in the guild boss number six. So I'm applying a bit of basic smart casting here. If you're curious about it, I'm gonna show that to you at the end of the video with the stats of my heroes and etc. So let's try. Yo, f first of all, I want to change something because as you can see, I increased the speed on my Lukia, so it's a, a high amount of speed. So I need to increase the speed on my Visley to uh, make her play before my Lukia to uh, benefit from the combat vanguard aura I have on her. So, I have a huge amount of stats on my heroes, but it's just to say that Nicolas Exclusive 3 is not needed for this kind of content. Maybe with less stats, you can reach easy 100 million damage against this boss. So yeah, let's try, let's try. Here he resisted, okay, now resistance down, attack down 40% on the boss. So, I have a lot of bleeds on him, and this is important in this kind of team uh, to, if you want to use Hezonja, you have to sacrifice some da damage on your Hezonja in order to have always the HP debuffs on your other DPS. This is the case here. As you can see, my uh, Lukia every turn deals just a bit more damage than my uh, Hezonja, and so my Hezonja has his full potential during all the fight. This is really, really important. So here I have all the debuffs on my Lukia, but the boss has 40% uh, attack down, so I have no debuffs, but I can tank. I can tank the first stages of damage. Okay, uh, during the fight, I want to say that I'm also a bit lucky, because sometimes you're gonna see that I'm not gonna take a crit, otherwise maybe I could die... May around stage 12 maybe, 12, 15 with my Lukia, something like this. I don't remember exactly, but we are gonna have a look to that. So, as you can see, still no debuffs on my uh, Hezonja, so he still have his full potential. This is the goal here. Nerf his damage, so your bleeder takes m more all the debuffs, and so you have the maximal potential in your team. Okay, so, close to the 100 million damage, and close to the 10th turn. I am still uh, alive for now. Uh, Visley is also great because she can increase the speed of all your heroes by 20%, which is pretty huge. 100 million damage reached. So I don't have any buffs on my Lukia, but the boss has the 40% attack down. He can't focus my Lukia here because she is still thanks to the second skill. So he focused someone else, and here I am still alive for now, because he had the attack down on him, and I had the consolidation. So until here, I would say it is safe, but here, if I took a crit, I would be dead with my Lukia. So at least 140 million damage, but then my Hezonja is still alive, so maybe uh, the final result could have been 160 million. But it's still a huge amount though, it is, still, it is still huge. So then, I buff myself again. 
Attack down one more time on the boss. Pretty easy to apply the attack down thanks to the resistance debuff on the boss. So here I am still alive for now, 161 million damage, pretty huge. Consolidation. The boss is gonna use his ultimate. So yeah, I'm still alive. The ultimate is not the bigger threat because uh, it hit, it doesn't hit through the shield, okay? It's, but the second, the first, the basic attack here hits sh through the shield. So this is the bigger threat. So if you have the, your buffs when the boss uses his basic attack every time, then you can manage to stay alive. Look at the damage. I'm close to the 200 million. And for now, I am still alive. I'm gonna reach the 200 million. This is huge. With Weasley. I mean, it is with Weasley. Weasley. This is insane. 200 million reached. Final result, 205 million damage using Weasley. This is just unbelievable. This is just unbelievable. I mean, she is an epic hero. And one of the best to have on this, con on this content. This is insane. I love that. So, next time, next try, I am going to put the Combat Vanguard Aura on my Nicholas and we are going to have a look to the difference. Do you think that I can do more damage? We are going to find out. We are going to find out. So, let's do it. Combat Vanguard. Enhance it. So, 800 gems. Don't reproduce it at home. <laughs> it costs a lot. It costs a lot. Okay, so let's try it. Change the... Uh, change the smart casting. So let's put Nicholas instead and change that. I'm going to use all the skills because using the uh, the last one, it heals my heroes. So yeah, I want to prioritize the first skill to get more often the speed buff on my heroes. But the ultimate is pretty helpful too. So, with his passive, Nicolas Exclusive 3 increases the damage of my DPS. So normally I should deal more damage. But my heroes have to survive. So it's okay because I have the apple on both of my heroes. But I don't have the attack down on the boss. So I'm gonna take more damage on my DPS. So for now the damage are pretty high. So normally I'm gonna deal damage faster, more damage and, and faster than before with Weasley. But if my heroes can't survive, then the final result will be worse. So here, if I took a crit, I, I would have lost the apple on turn number 5. Uh, damage are pretty high though for now. 65 million damage. Yeah, when I recorded it, I didn't believe my eyes. The score I reached with my Weasley it was just insane. Okay, so 92 million damage. Already great, already great. I still have the apples on both my DPS. One hundred and twelve million damage here for now, so it is pretty high though. It's pretty high, highest than with my Weasley uh, on turn number ten. But you are gonna see. There is a part of random during the fight with this team and also with Weasley. So yeah, maybe I can die before with my Lucia. Maybe I can stay alive during all the fight. It depends. 
So here, yeah, I lost the apple because he crits through, uh, he eats the sh through the shield using the basic attack and so uh, I died one time with my Lucia. So, I buff myself again. So for now I am safe, I'm, I can tank the ultimate, pretty nice. Then there is the second skill here, so he's gonna hit my Hezenjav normally. Okay. And now he is gonna probably, he's gonna kill my Lucia. Okay. I didn't have any buffs on my Lucia, so she died. So now extra attack on my heroes, so he took two turns in, in a row because he killed my Lucia after the 15th, 15th turn, so it's pretty bad. I lost one turn of damage. And so look at that, I am still alive with my heroes, but the turn limitation is coming soon. And what is the final result? I didn't reach the 200 million damage. So, is it better to use Visley or to use Nicolas? I think that if I have higher stats with this team, I can use Nicolas and get a higher score with this team, but Visley helps you a lot to stay alive, even if you deal less damage over time, you are gonna stay alive using her, so you have more insurance to stay alive during the fight, and so for this kind of content, I still prefer Nicolas, but yeah, you know what? I, I, yeah, Visley is amazing. Visley is just amazing. I wasn't expecting the, that amount of damage though, so she is pretty insane for here. So now let me show you the game. So this is my final score here, and let's jump into my hero's stats. So this is my Ben Austin. I have a first aid set and a feeder set on him, so he has a huge amount of HP defense and a big speed here, a lot of effect hit, but it's not mandatory here. Uh, so I'm using him with these emblems, uh, everything to increase his speed. Uh, he's built for the arena, so he has some controls, um, take less damage. So this is it for him, and I have this around him, so the best one to use on him to increase the damage dealt by your heroes, uh, it's gonna put a buff on them, on them to increase 12% of the damage they deal. Pretty nice on him. Every time he's gonna use a skill. So then this is my, um, this is my Catherine. Uh, feeder set and speed set, a huge amount of HP and defense, a lot of speed here, and a bit of healing effect to heal more using the passive here and this aura on her, the recovery horn, only with one star. Uh, and finally I'm using these emblems on her, so everything to increase her shield effect, a healing effect, speed, and reduce the damage she takes. And I'm using, okay, I, I already told that. Uh, then this is my, uh, let's talk about, let's talk about my Nicolas. I have a first aid set and a feeder set. Uh, a lot of HP and defense, a lot of speed, more than the boss, mandatory. Uh, and a lot of effect hit, but it's not required here. Uh, if you manage to put the res resistance down on the boss, then it should be enough. I have these emblems on him, so build for the arena, uh, more resistance to controls, more effect hits, etc, uh, more speed, cooldowns reduction, uh, pretty nice. And I'm using this aura as you saw, so with one star, so it, it, it increases my damage deal by 20% on the boss, pretty nice. So I'm gonna use the same aura on my Visley, so let's talk about her now. Uh, this is my Visley, a double effect hit set. Uh, I have a lot of HP and defense on her, uh, a bit more speed than the boss and than my uh, DPS. Uh, a huge amount of effect hit because I want to be sure to land the resistance at the beginning of the fight. And you know that you saw that the first uh, attempt to put the resistance down failed. So you need a lot here. I have these emblems on her, so uh, more speed, more effect hit, resistance to controls and more less damage taken. And I had the aura uh, that I had on my Nicolas. So this one. Then this is my Hezonja. Uh, he has 
a master reset and a first aid set. Yeah, I'm using this kind of stuff here because uh, I, I was using this on my supports only, but you know what? Uh, it's interesting to use it here because it procs for uh, a DPS purpose. Uh, if I push myself here, uh, I'm using this here with a lot of HP and an extra speed here. And here we, I have a lot of mastery on this piece of gear, so this one is great for him. So why not using it on him? It increases his speed by 10% and his effect hit by 20%. So yeah, it's great to use it on him if you have some. Uh, so, I have a lot of HP, uh, a lot of defense, a huge amount of speed, but I'm targeting to have more than 2000, it could be better uh, for this kind of stuff. Uh, not a huge effect hit, effect hit here, but you know what, with the 50% resistance down on the boss, you don't need a lot of effect hit, and I have a huge amount of mastery. I have these emblems on him, so everything to increase his dot damage and reduce the damage he takes. And I'm using this aura on him, this is the only one uh, I maxed out on my account, so he gets more HP, uh, so it's, better, it's good for him and more mastery. But he deals less damage every turn than my Lukia, so let's talk about her now. This is my Lukia. Accuracy set and mastery set. Uh, I have all my master pieces of gear on her. She is just insane in my opinion. I have to share that with you, because I have been really really lucky on my drops here on my farming, I got this piece of gear with effect hit, crit rate, speed, huge amount of speed and attack rate, this piece of gear is just perfect for her. And I managed to be um, super super lucky one more time, this is the first time I have been lucky to forge one piece of gear, Legend 1, with all the stats needed on her, effect hit, mastery, crit rate, and also some HP rate, which is pretty interesting for your DPS to, steal, to stay alive. Then I have mastery, attack rate, effect hit, crit damage, one more time, everything I need on her. So yeah, as I said, my gear is optimal for her. Here a huge amount of speed, yes, yeah, some defense flat, not really mandatory here, but more mastery and effect hit. Here crit rate, crit damage, effect hit, mastery, attack rate, so everything I need on her. And this one more time, a perfect piece of gear, I have been super lucky. Uh, attack, uh, crit rate, okay some defense rate, not mandatory but it, it helps. Uh, attack rate and speed and finally the last one in speed with a lot of mastery, crit rate. But here it could be better, so it's not the, the most optimal one, but almost, almost. So let's... Let me show you her stats here. Uh, I have almost 500k HP, 41k attack, which is pretty huge, 2033 speed, this is insane, 70% crit rate, not that much crit damage, so maybe in the future I can focus more the crit damage, but you saw her damage, she already deals a huge amount of damage, so is it good enough to um, sacrifice all the stats to increase the crit damage? I don't think so. 65% um, effect hit. I have the resistance down every time, so you don't need a lot here. And finally, 111% mastery. These emblems on her, so everything to increase her crit rate and dot damage, and to increase her uh, defense and lower the damage she takes. And uh, finally, I have this aura on her and I am focusing everything, all I have on this aura to increase the level of this aura because look at the stats here. It's almost providing the same stats as my aura, blue mark or blue aura level 30 on my Hezonja. If I increase one level here, it's gonna do the same as an aura le blue level, uh, blue level 30. But I need more, uh, I need a lot of tokens here and a lot of gold, so it's gonna take a lot of time. But this is why I decided to take Ina and Fritch to form only this, uh, this content, this faction, until I maxed out this aura. And so my Lukia is gonna be insane. So. That was all for the video, I hope you enjoyed it, if it's the case, as usual, please like, comment and subscribe and then see you in the next one. Bye bye!
Infinite Magic Raid. Play to slay.